what's up, I'm Jen, I'm short, and I apologize I don't have a fancy car cosplay video for you today, but I wanted to post kind of an update video so you don't think I'm being a lazy ass and just not making any videos. I am actually making videos, at least I'm filming videos, I just haven't been editing them, but it's not because I'm lazy, it's because I'm busy. So starting with the cosplay stuff, I actually do have a video that I filmed already for the Harley Quinn Suicide Squad look. Once I edit it, then I'll post it up. If you've been following my Becoming Kylo Ren, the fun size series, you'll know that I mentioned in my last video that I'm working on the helmet modification, and it's true. See? But Jen, it looks like you just put blue painter's tape on it and threw on some earth magnets. But I've also cut out a lot of the holes in the face, and this is actually glued together now. There's actually strips in here that I added for stability. If you want to see the progress as it happens, instead of waiting for the video when I actually complete it, well then you should check out my Facebook page because I will be uploading photos of my progress as it happens. I'll leave it in the description down below so you can easily find it. Also, I wanted to show you this. It's his lightsaber hilt. This was actually provided to me by Rhoda's Soul Studios. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyways, the gentleman there was kind enough to offer to sponsor me, and he sent me this 3D printed hilt, which is super awesome of him. I will leave a link to his page also down below so you can check out the other stuff he makes. And once I'm done with the helmet back here, I will make a separate video just specifically for the lightsaber hilt, because as you can see, it's gonna need some uh, painting. So thank you to Crota Soul Studios for offering that. That is super awesome, and again, I hope I'm saying that right. And finally, with Kylo, remember this? This is the black monk's cloth that I said I would use as my last resort material. Well, I'm not at that level of desperation just yet. So there's a fabric out there that actually looks pretty close to screen accurate. It sometimes is called the Luke Daily fabric or JJ Industries. Anyways, you can Google it if you haven't seen it. However, it's not available right now, but it is gonna be available soon, so I'm told. So I'm gonna wait for that fabric to become available. And with that said, my original estimated time of completion is gonna be before Comic-Con which is in July. However, if this fabric is not gonna be available like in the next week, then I'm probably not gonna have that costume done in time for Comic-Con. On the car side of things, I've had the pleasure of experiencing the Lexus RC200T. Also, I had a recent experience with a Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk edition, so I definitely have videos to upload, I just need to get around to actually editing them. Also, there was one more thing that I just wanted to throw in today, kind of an idea for maybe a future video. People like to do Q&A videos, where you would send in the cues, and I, would provide the A's. So if you have any questions that you want me to answer, well then you can go ahead and leave your questions in the comments down below, or you can check out my Facebook page, or you can send me a tweet on Twitter. If you wanna leave me something on Instagram, maybe you can DM me there, I guess. I don't know, if you wanna do that, you do that. There's also Tumblr, if you wanna tumble me. That doesn't make sense. Anyways, whichever way you choose, you can go ahead and send me a question, and if there's enough of them, I will make a future video where I just answer your questions. That's all I have for today. I just really wanted to throw something up here to give you kind of an update on the other things that are going on. Thanks so much for watching, and now it is time for me to roll out.